Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to the fifth class of permutations and combinations, right? So we'll continue our questions here. So this is question number seven. See, do not miss a single question, right? Do not miss a single question which we have discussed or a single concept, right? Do not miss it. Every question is so important. Okay, question number seven. How many, how many six digit numbers can be formed? Six digit numbers can be formed from digits from digits 5 6 7 and 8 such that such that each digit each digit is used each digit is used at least once is used at least once right very important question mark is very important very important concept very important question okay if you want you can pause this video for five minutes and try this question right it's a very good question if you get the answer it's very good right okay let's solve it how many six digit numbers can be formed from digits five six seven eight such that each digit is used at least once right so what we'll do here Okay, we'll make six places here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now five, six, seven, eight has to be used at least once, right? So five, six, seven, eight will put, right? See, always, always my preference will be while solving questions. Always first I'll do selection. Okay, and then I will do arrangement. And then I will do arrangement. Right, always first is selection. Selection means completing the blank part let's say right so first select select uh, do selection that means first form the groups if the fixed groups are formed then you can go for arrangement or shuffling so selection means forming groups so first form the fixed groups and arrangement arrangement means shuffling and then worry about shuffling right so in the first in the first uh, uh, in the first uh, at the first our first uh, motto is to make this perfect number of groups right how many groups are required right so see here how many groups are required here so five six seven eight should be used at least once each digit is used at least once right so i placed five six seven eight i've satisfied the minimum condition required in the question now these two digits you can see it i can fill it in two ways right either i can have same number like i can have five or five here or i can have two different number like seven and eight here right that means these two places can be formed if can be uh, uh, filled in two ways, right? With two same digits, two different digits, right? So this is this is the case I'll make, right? Because I should have always one group alike, right? This means case one I can make. What is case one? So first case five, six, seven, eight are there, right? Case one when these two digits are same, like it is let's say two digits are same. So let's say five or five or six or six or 7 or 7 or 8 or 8 right this kind of number so when two digits are same this is a case one so how many numbers i can form this kind so see these two places these two vacant places can be filled in how many ways it can be filled in how many ways right let me write is other color now okay so it's very important concept so this two can be filled in either 5 5 or 6 6 or 7 7 or 8 8 right that means this two blank places can be filled in how many ways so it can be filled in four ways right four ways that means i can write four ways or i can write 4 c1 my wish because 4 c1 is 4 only okay 4 c1 is 4 right n c1 is 1 and sorry n c1 is n only right that means what is n c1 selecting one things out of n things right so if there are n things in if there are n things in front of you selecting one one thing how many times n times right that's why n c1 is equal to n okay if there are five things in front of you you select one one thing at a time so one two three four five right so five times so five c1 is what five seven is five only that's why n c1 is n so four c1 is what four c1 is four so i can write i can simply count here right one one two three four four ways or i can write four c1 right so now selection is done now selection is done now it's time for arrangement that is time for shuffling right because i know there are four such alike groups i should always form 
आई शुड ऑलवेज फॉर्म अलाइक ग्रुप्स राइट और सिमिलर आई शुड ऑलवेज फॉर्म सिमिलर ग्रुप्स ऑलवेज फॉर्म सिमिलर ग्रुप्स राइट सो दैट शफलिंग बिकम्स इजी राइट सो ऑलवेज फॉर्म सिमिलर ग्रुप्स एट फर्स्ट सिमिलर ग्रुप्स सो दैट शफलिंग बिकम्स इजी राइट सो आई हैव टेकन इन केस वन ऑल देर आर फोर डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स हियर बट ऑल आर सिमिलर बिकॉज इन ऑल द ग्रुप्स थ्री डेट्स आर रिपीटेड इधर फाइव 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 और सिक्स 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 और सेवन 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 और एट 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 राइट सो ऑल दे आर सिमिलर ग्रुप्स हैविंग इन सिक्स डिजिट थ्री डिजिट एज सेम एंड थ्री डिजिट एज डिफरेंस राइट सो देर आर फोर सच ग्रुप सो फोर सी वन वेज नाउ शफलिंग दिस इज दिस इज सेलेक्शन नाउ दिस इज सेलेक्शन नाउ नाउ अरेंजमेंट राइट हाउ मेनी वेज अरेंज कैन इन हाउ इन हाउ मेनी वेज कैन अरेंज इट बिकॉज शफलिंग ऑफ द डिजिट्स विल चेंज द नंबर इन हाउ मेनी वेज कैन शफल इट सो सी देर आर सिक्स डिफरेंट डिजिट सिक्स प्लेसेज यूर इन दिस either of the four groups you take right in all the groups three digits are same like 555 so like 666 or 777 or 888 right that's why it termed in similar groups i meant similar in case one i'll take similar groups right so as shuffling can be done together so how how the shuffling can be done so for each group shuffling can can be done by factorial 6 by factorial three ways right that is total six places for six factorial in that three digits are repeating Five, five, and five divided by factorial three. Right. So what is the answer for this first case? Four into seven twenty by six. So four into one twenty. This is four eighty. Four eighty is the answer for first case. Right. Now case two. Case two. When these two digits are different, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Let me fill it. And then these two digits are different. So when these two digits are different, that means it could be five and eight. It could be seven and eight. It could be five and six like this, right? There are different digits here. So, in how many ways this can be selected? This, this, how many groups I can form? So, just read this statement like how many groups you can form. Just read this statement like. See, read this statement like. Out of four digits, how many groups of two two digits are like? Here I can form like here I can form four groups, right? Here I can form four groups. Here how many groups I can form? So out of four digits, selecting two two digits. How many groups I can form? I can form four C two groups. What is four C two? If you solve four C two, so four C two is nothing but four into three by two. That is six. Okay, so six. That means six groups I can form. Like five eight, five six, five seven, six eight, seven eight, six as a six eight. Right. Total six groups. So in each now all six groups are similar groups now. Here also all six groups are similar. Right. You you are getting the essence of the question. Why I made two cases because here all these two groups, six groups are now similar groups because in all the groups, like suppose two digits are same, and an and another two are same, right? So like eight eight and five five will repeat here like seven seven and eight eight will repeat, right? So that means in all such cases, two two digit will repeat. So in how how can how we can shuffle it for six digits six factorial, okay? For six digits six places we can shuffle in six factorial. But in that two two digits are repeating. Five is repeating two times divided by two factorial, and eight is repeating two 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 times right divided by another two factorial. Okay, so the answer in this case you can solve it. Seven twenty by four is the one eighty. One eighty into six is ten eighty. So ten is eighty is the answer. So what is the answer? Final answer four eighty for first case, second case ten eighty. Right? This is addition. This is addition because both the events are happening happening parallelly. It will it will be either right number will be either like this or like this. This is a case of or, right? Or means what? Or means addition. Or both the events are happening parallelly, not one after the other. It's not like this event is happening and then no number is like number is either this number or this number, right? So plus so either case one or case two. So you add it. What is the answer? Ten eighty plus four eighty. What is the answer? Answer is fifteen sixty. So fifteen sixty is the answer for this super question. Super question, super important question, right? Mark this question. Very important question. Okay. Ah, huh? next one. Question number eight. Question number eight. In how many ways? In how many ways? Letters of the word. Okay. Letters of the word. Proportion. Letters of the word. Proportion, write it in capital. Proportion can be arranged. Can be arranged 
when taken when taken four at a time now this is also a very good question very very good question absolutely maybe 20 percent above cat level also right but this question is very important this concept is very important right so we have to discuss this question and a very very good question in how many ways letters of the word proportion can be arranged when taken four at a time okay when taken four at a time see here see now first get the essence of this question right what is the essence of this question suppose instead of proportion is a proportion is a 10 letter word 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so proportion is a 10 letter word right so in this 10 letter word first answer many of the people answer this question as 10c4 right so you can't apply 10c4 10c4 writing or itself, itself is wrong because what does 10c4 means selecting four different things out of 10 different things here there are not 10 different things here there are not 10 different things here there are only six different things because r two r are same three o's are same two i's are same sorry this uh, uh th two p's are same two r are same three o's are same right all these are same same so they're not different right so we cannot write 10 c4 it is wrong okay so basically the funda is out of this 10 letters in how many ways uh it can be arranged when taken four at a time when taken four letter at, at a time right so first thing in mind it goes like this when taken four letter at a time this four letter can be p r o p okay those four letter can be o o o n those four letter can be p p o o right okay you can sense it right here two are same two are different here three are same one is different here two and two are same right so we can form such different groups of letter right because all these letters are not identical i can form such different groups of letter right now suppose if the question was here for all the 10 different letters if all the little letters have been different some some word like let's say there exists a some word like a b c d e f g h i j so the, if there exists some word like a b c d f uh, f g h i j now suppose it's a 10 letter word and same question in how many ways letters of the word letter, letters of this word can be arranged when taken four at a time my answer was straight away 10 c 4 into 4 factorial that's it this is the answer if this was a this if this was a 10 letter word my answer was directly 10 c 4 into 4 factorial because all 10 are different so when I have to take in when I have to pick four letter letter at, at a time, I can do in do that by 10 C4. 10 C4 will take care of all the different groups of four four letter. Okay. So 10 C4 means all the different groups of four four letter we have make, and then every group of four letter can be shuffled in four factorial ways. Right. So 10 C4 into four factorial. Right. That is the answer for this question. But same thing cannot be applied here because in this case some letters are same, some are different. Right. So 10 c4 we can't write so we can't take the cases right there are different groups here groups of like two are same two are different groups of like three are same one is different groups of like two and two are same right so we have to again make similar groups again we have to make similar groups right again we have to make similar groups so okay now let's make similar groups for making similar groups right we have to take cases here cases okay now cases first case first case right for making cases we can just segregate the letters of word proportion right just segregate the letters how many are alike how many are uh, two are same three are same right so p and p is occurring two times fine r and r is occurring two times uh, okay o o and o is occurring three times okay and t i n are our single letters 2 plus 2, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3, 10. Total 10 letters are correct. Right. So now in this, I can make different groups. Right. What are different groups? So we start from maximum identical. Like 3 O's are here. Right. 3 O's are here. So we start from maximum identical. So I can make first case of 3 identical, 3 identical, and 1 different. 1 different. Right. Again, don't follow, don't uh, forget the basic one that is always first do selection then we'll do arrangement always first selection then arrangement right so three identical and one different how many how many cases i can form how many groups i can form 
so three identical and one different like it's like case so of how many for three identical there's only one way of selecting three identical only one way of selecting three identical right that is triple o and one different here can be kept in five ways it could be either of one p one r t i and n so out of these five letters i can pick any one here so this can be filled in how many ways this can be filled in so this three can be filled in one way and this can be filled in five ways right so there are five ways of filling it so i can make five such different groups five such different groups of three identical and one different what are those five groups triple o p triple o r triple o t triple o i triple o n right so i can make five such different groups and all five groups are similar they are similar groups right having three letters same and one different so they can be arranged arranged uh, uh, in a single way right three letters and one different triple o p kind of situation triple o p kind of situation three letter and one different right how many ways you can arrange it factorial 4 by factorial 3 four for four factorial four places o repeating three times so divide by three factorial right what is the answer for first case 24 by 6 is 4 4 into 5 is 20 so 20 is the answer for first case three identical and one different right case number 2 case number 2 now there can't be any other case of three identical right let's move to two identical so two identical and two different i can write two identical and two different i can write for two identical and two different this is kind of case double o double p kind of case right double o double p kind of case that means i have i have to select two pairs right that means i have to select two pairs so two pairs means we have three pairs available one pair of p one pair of r one pair of o so out of three pairs we can select any two pairs in 3c2 ways what is the value of 3c2 value of 3c2 is 3 only and what is what are those three pairs double o double p double o double r and double p double r you can simply count on fingers right there are only three ways but if 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 if, if in terms of c i need to write i'll write 3c2 okay so 3c2 into now arrangement is done right out of three pairs selecting two pairs two pair means what four letters these are four letters right into arrangement in how many how many ways i can arrange it there are four letters so four factorial o repeating two times two factorial p repeating two times two factorial right what is the answer for this case so answer for this case will be can easily solve it uh, 4 by uh, 24 by 4 6 6 into 3 18 3 c 2 is equal to 3 c 1 3 c 1 is equal to 3 and 3 into 6 is what 18 so this is 18 this is 18 right now case 3 case 3 now two identical and two different one case right but we can sense one more case here two identical and another two identical because this case sorry sorry i'm really sorry i am really sorry here i've done a mistake here two identical and two different was here i should write here two div identical and two identical uh just uh, edit this case uh, jay i am just repeating again from here i am again repeating from second point right some mistake i have done i am again repeating from seven second point okay second point i am again repeating okay so let's do some uh, let's do second case here second case two identical and two different two identical and two different right that means this kind of case double o and p and n kind of case right that means two are identical and two are different this kind of case right so see two identical two identical can be selected in how many ways this can be selected in how many ways three ways either double o or double p or double r so this can be selected in three ways two identical now two different can be selected in selected in how many ways so if i have selected double o here so i can't select o so i'm left with what p r t i n so out of p r t i n that is five letter out of five letter i can select any two in five c two ways that means i can make three into five c two groups right and then arrangement then arrangement so the arrangement can can be done in how many ways so similar groups so two are identical so four factorial by two factorial right how many ways 30 into 12 this is 30 into 12 right that is 360 360 is the answer for case 2 now case 3 case 
Now, if we say case of two identical here, then two identical and two again identical. That that can can be the case here because it can be the case of double O and double P kind of case where two both these pairs are same. This case doesn't come comes in the previous case. It was two identical and two different, right? So it comes out to be now this two identical and two identical. It is similar. It's very simple because out of three available pairs, we have pay one pair of P. One pair of R and one pair of O, right? So out of three available pairs, I can select any. I can select any pair in two ways, right? I can select any pair in two ways. This this pair or this pair, this pair or this pair, right? So out of three available pairs, I can select any two pairs in three C two ways. Now what is value of three C two? Value of three C two is three only, right? Value of three C two is three only, right? There's no other other exception here. Value of three C two is three only, right? What are those three pairs? You can simply count on your finger: double O, double P, double O, double R, double P, double R. That's it. So three C two. That means three C two is equal to three C one. That three C one is equal to three. Three C two into now the arrangement, right? Factorial four by factorial two into factorial two. In solve it, it is three into Six that is eighteen. So eighteen is the answer for this case. So we have got three cases till now. Answer for first case is twenty. Answer for second case is three sixty. Answer for third case is eighteen. Right now fourth case. One more case I can form here. See very understand this question very carefully because this question will clear your lots of concepts. And the similar question I have given in the um, in the quiz for the word institute. In how many ways letters of the word institute can be arranged when taken five at a time? Right, that is a question you can write now and practice. Otherwise, you can see the quiz. It's there in the quiz. Just practice there, and I made a video solution solution of it as well. Right, so you'll perfectly understand it. Right, so just very important concept this is. Now fourth is round. Now when two identical over, so cases of three identical over, two identical over. So now one identical. It doesn't mean anything, right? One identical means all four are different now. Okay. So all four are different. So I can make this case. I can write this case here. All four different. All four different. That means this kind of case. O P T R kind of case. All four are different. In how many ways this can be done? So there are how many different letters here? So P R O T I N. Out of the six letter, one P, one R, one O, and T I N. The six letter. I can select any four in six C four ways, so I can make six C four groups of four four letter. Every four letter group can be shuffled in four factorial ways. This arrangement, this selection, this arrangement. So this is how much? This is this equal to three sixty. This equal to three sixty. Again three sixty, right? So very carefully understand, right? What is six C four? Six C four is equal to six C two. What is six C two? Six into five by two. That is fifteen. So fifteen, fifteen into twenty-four, three sixty is the answer. So there are four cases here. So just add all these four cases. What is the answer? Twenty plus three sixty plus eighteen plus three sixty. What is the answer? Answer is seven fifty-eight. So answer for this question is what? Seven fifty-eight. So seven fifty-eight is the answer for this question, right? A super question, absolutely super question, and very important for your exams. This concept, right? Very very important. Okay, now, now, uh, okay. We'll discuss next question in the next video, right? You just follow these two questions. Very important two questions in this video. This video we have done previous one. How many in how many ways the four digits numbers? Uh, how many six digit numbers can be found by using digits five, six, seven, and eight such that each digit is used at least once? Super question. This was a super question, right? So two questions. Questions I'm doing in this video. Just Practice it. Watch it three, four times. Right. Get the every get get the every concept which I told, and then you can uh, feel confident about it. Right. We'll do next question in the next video. Thank you.